I've got two of potentially the most important purchases that we've made here at 3D Musketeers in the past few years right here in front of me. They came in massive boxes from UPS. We'll put that on the screen so you guys can see me unboxing it. The footage was unremarkable, so we're not going to include the full length, but you definitely want to know what's in here. Let's take a look. Hey, welcome back to 3D Musketeers. You guys are used to me talking all about 3D printing, but there's another part of this industry that I love and kind of got away from for a little bit, 3D scanning. And in here are two incredibly high-end 3D scanners. We've got an Artec EVA and an Artec Ray, both amazing pieces of kit that, uh, have some specs that are stacked. We're gonna first take a look at the EVA. We're gonna put the Ray to the side, because the Ray, you know, that's the best for last. I owned an EVA a couple of years ago, actually. I owned one back in 2014. We used it to scan numerous things, including Snoop Dogg, uh, Steve Aoki, and a lot of other interesting people. But in this box, we actually have a battery. So these things can run off of batteries. They are a 12 volt, lithium polymer flat cell battery for those that care. But the real meat and potatoes is right here. This is an Artec EVA. This is a full color structured light 3D scanner with accuracy up to 0.1 millimeter. Most 3D printers out there would struggle off of, you know, the hop at least to get to this level of detail in their Z axis, let alone X and Y. And that's what makes this awesome for doing 3D printing. Now, these are a little pricey, full retail prices right around 20,000 US dollars. And that does not include a software license that comes at $1,200 a year or right at about $3,000 for a permanent seat, of course, with no upgrades. But I'm excited. I loved our EVA when we had it. It is amazingly powerful for what it is. It's basically the size of a hand mixer. It's the most expensive hand mixer I've ever bought. But we can look at some of the specs on the website. We'll put them up here, and I'm going to read them off for you as well. This has got accuracy of 0.3 millimeters per meter. So every meter that you scan, you have an accuracy plus or minus 0.3 millimeters, which is as far as metrology grade goes, absolutely atrocious. This is not a metrology grade 3D scanner, but this is great for doing frontline inspection of certain things. And for our use case scenario, oh, it's going to be perfect. We want to be able to scan buildings, cars, boats, planes, helicopters, things where 20 grand is insurance and a fill up for the year. This comes in a ruggedized case. When I bought my EVA, it never had this. This new EVA has this beautiful case that, you know, kind of toss around a little bit, although I don't think I really would. The nice thing about the EVA is it has very few moving parts. The only moving parts are actually fans to keep the unit cool. It runs off of mini USB as well as a 12 volt power supply that Artec conveniently puts the pin out right on the bottom. It also has a quarter 20 mount here for tripods, should you decide you want to use that, as well as that's ethernet in and out. Don't know what the ethernet is for, but it's there. This does also capture full color texture, meaning that as you're scanning, it's also taking photos. We have our light array, we have our camera, and then we have projectors as well. It is projecting not only light, but lines. Then the cameras are reading those lines and how they interact with the surface that they're bouncing off of, and that's how it determines a 3D model. But what makes Artex so famous for what they do is not their scanners. Their scanners are actually pretty cool. This one is really cool. It's the software. Artex Studio, and I use Artex Studio 10 and 11, we're on 16 now. It was great back then. I've heard it's only gotten better. That's pretty amazing. I'm really excited to try this out. And these scanners, while they are secondhand, are brand new to me. And they actually have pretty low life given their serial numbers. The texture resolution is not that high at 1.3 megapixels. But 
unless you're doing high resolution full color 3D printing, it's not really all that useful to you anyways. It is incredibly useful though if you are trying to align scans. Let's say you don't want to do an entire thing at once, you want to go ahead and hit the stop button here, stop the scan, and then start back up later. It can use that texture map as well as the geometry to go ahead and line things up for you. It's one of the things that make our tech software as powerful as it is. Now the EVA can run on battery, but it also has the ability to run on wall power. And yes, they give you this ridiculous, uh, you know, dad style belt clip battery. Like, come on, Artec. It's also an $800 battery. Come on. It Come on. This thing does not capture a lot of data at one time, but that doesn't mean that it's able to get better detail. When you look at high-end scanners from Artec, there's only one that beats this, and that is the Space Spider. The Space Spider is roughly the same price, around the 20-ish thousand dollar range. However, it has a much narrower field of view. It scans a much smaller area, therefore, it captures less data, but it can do it more accurately, double the accuracy of the EVA. But for our purposes, the EVA is more than enough. The nice thing about the EVA, it weighs only a sparsely two pounds. And that means it's very easy for someone even like me that doesn't have the best, well, body one, but back two. So if I need to go down, it's not that difficult for me to leave it lower without hurting myself. This is the one thing I really like about the EVA. And make sure you guys leave a like and get subscribed because we spent a lot of money on these scanners. Uh, retail value is $80,000. Artec is not supporting us at this time. And if any of you have connections to Artec, I would love to strike a conversation. I'd like to get some license keys for Artec Studio 16 so that we can do some videos on how to use it. If you look online, especially if you're looking to buy something like this, a $20,000 scanner, okay? This is not an insignificant amount of money. You probably want to watch some tutorials about the software, how to use it, how to do this and how to do that, but they really don't exist. We would like to be able to do that. And there's also no real videos of people using two scanners at once. My entire use case is using both of these at once. So our tech, if you're watching, hit me up. Links will be in the description down below. These are not the last scanners you're going to see on this channel. We are looking at other 3D scanners, but if you want to see a scanner shootout, let me know and we'll see if we can get some in for review at certain price levels so we can compare them. I think that'd be a really cool video because at the end of the day, it is all about use cases. Anyways, I can yap on about this forever. And actually, as soon as this video goes live, if you are part of our Patreon, patreon.com slash 3D Musketeers, I'm going to be live hanging out in our Discord server where you guys can come and ask me anything that you want, but you got to be a patron to get in there for now. Eventually, we're going to make that thing public. Going to take a little bit of time, but I really do love the EVA. I think when it, you're looking at an all around 3D scanner with the software, see the trick is that software. Einscan which makes beautiful scanners, you're paying roughly the same to get the same quality, but I have not been a fan of their software in the past. Our tech software has always just been easy. That's what I like about it. But let's get into the real reason. The big boy. The Ray. The Artec Ray is actually not an Artec product. This is actually a Surfacer. It is effectively rebranded and it's been slightly nerfed. It's slower than the Surfacer version of this. However, it does not utilize the Surfacer software. And if you ask me, slightly slower scanning speed makes up for better software. Let's get this thing out of the box here. This bad girl is a long range laser scanner. It can be fully autonomous. It can spin 360 degrees and scan 270 degrees. These come calibrated from the factory so that they do hit certain tolerances and it can scan upwards of 110 meters in any freaking direction. That means you can scan whole ass buildings with this. 
vehicles in a couple of scans, boats, two or three scans max. This thing is a monster and it is fully autonomous. You can run it connected to a computer or you can run it off of a wall or if you're really remote, you can run it on batteries. Now the interesting thing about the Ray is the way that our tech is positioning it. It's not, you don't really see them pushing it all that often and I don't really know why but you just don't see it. The Ray is an awesome scanner though, and I think its price point is really what drives some people away. This is 60,000 US dollars. It is a lot of money, but its accuracy is absolutely insane. You are looking at 25 arc seconds of angular accuracy with this. Now, of course, 25 arc seconds, you're like, what the hell is that transfer to? in millimeters. We have some ranging error that our tech states and for high quality mode, it is 0.7 millimeters at 15 meters. That's pretty ridiculous. That is very, very high quality scanning at well over 30 feet away. Okay. Bluetooth does barely get to that range. So if you're on a headset and you set your phone down where the ray is, it could scan you that far and have an accuracy of 0.7 millimeters. That's pretty damn good. It can do 208,000 points per second. And like I said, it can run autonomous or directly connected via USB. This system is amazing. It has two five megapixel cameras to do texture as well as the laser scanner to do LiDAR. A lot of you know about the iPhone and the iPads that have LiDAR built in. This is a much bigger version of it. Obviously, quite a few iPhones worth of scanner here, but our plan is to test it up against an iPhone 13 Pro Max, whatever the heck they're calling it these days. I'm an Android user, but I am really, really excited. This thing is the pinnacle of what our tech offers for long range laser scanning and one of the dream scanners of architects, engineers, and especially people that do insurance work. And we have it. And oh yeah, you can use it too. If you need high end 3D scanning, you can reach out to us at 3D Musketeers. These will be available for use at varying price levels with day rates and all of that stuff built in. Give us a call. Links will be in the description down below to do that. I am really excited to have these scanners. and I hope you guys are as well. There's so much to learn. We're going to have a lot of 3D scanning content. Let me know down in those comments what you think about 3D scanners. This technology I can go way into the weeds about, but I will tell you from initial trials with this, it scanned my entire set, which is also my garage, in one go with no issues whatsoever. It is absolutely amazing. And of course, the Eva, I've used it before. I know it. I love it. I've lived it. And make sure you guys get subscribed because we are going to be doing an entire build on the ultimate portable 3D scanning rig with either a custom built desktop or a laptop inside of a custom backpack. So we have a portable computer as we are 3D scanning out in the field. And it will be silent other than fan noise and that kind of thing. No generators at all. And if you're a computer manufacturer and you want to get involved, hit us up as well because we are looking for a title sponsor for that video series. This is going to be a video series like none we've ever produced on this channel and I am really looking forward to doing it. I hope you guys enjoyed this first look at the Artec Eva and the Artec Ray. They are absolutely amazing scanners that we are adding to our capabilities here at 3D Musketeer. So expect a lot of content coming for them in 2022. I would love to know what your thoughts are of these scanners down in those comments below. Of course, links to these will be down there with all the documentation that we can find. And if you do want to buy one, let us know. We are not resellers, but we have been working with one who's been really great. I'd like to give them the business if that is so your jam. Anyways, guys, stay safe out there. Don't forget to call your loved ones. And as always, keep making awesome. Now with all the awesome 3D scanners. More to come. Get subscribed. We'll see you later.
Hey, thanks so much for watching this video of $80,000 of unboxing right here on 3D Musketeers. And I want to give a massive thank you to all of our patrons whose names are listed right next to me at the $5 tier or higher. If you want to get your name in our end credits and support what we do here at 3D Musketeers, you can support us over at Patreon with patreon.com slash 3D Musketeers. And YouTube channel memberships should be available. And if they're not, they're coming very, very soon. I'm still working on that. But again, let me know down in those comments what you think of these scanners if you want to see more 3D scanning content on this channel. Right below me is going to be a random unboxing. I don't know what it is. We're going to choose it eventually. And right next to that is going to be the Sanjay series where he's been hinting at some things that none of us caught on to. And it's really cool to go back and see how things have changed. I appreciate you guys watching all the way to the end of the video, and I'll see you down in those comments. Take care.